M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Bofunk UV18. Someone asked me a question. How do you select bands on the on this radio? And as far as I can see, you can't just scroll through bands, you know, like 434, 145, airband, 220 megs. It won't do it. You can type them in when you're in VFO mode. So to get into VFO mode, you press the green button. Channel, Channel mode, and it does talk to you, means memory hold it again frequency, frequency mode. mode so we can type in one, frequencies now two, one two six, six zero, zero, zero. there's am airband and it works fine and we can type in two two two, 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 two zero, zero, zero. works fine let's try four four six, four, four, six zero, zero, zero. that's pmr and then one four one, five four, so five, you can zero, type in zero, the bands zero that this device does do. I've been reading the manual, but to just push a button and scroll through the different bands, I can't see it, maybe I'm wrong. I've noticed it does do a, a scan thing, a sort of seek scan thing. If you press the green button briefly, then the star, it goes into scan mode, and if something near it transmits, M0FXB, look, it does pick up the frequency. So there is a search there, and you come out just by pressing back. So that's quite a, a neat feature, quite like that, and it does have a broadcast radio. If you press the button, underneath here there just underneath the ptt look radio and it works well uh, what made yeah it's a nice and it's a nice sounding speaker on this device and it does dual receive but i think you only hear one at a time but you can tell it to dual monitor just by in the menu settings there so to get into the main menus you just press the button there and you'll see that it's got bank see the word bank now the back button is the red button let's go back so at the moment, we're showing in VFO mode, it doesn't show any banks, but if we hold it down, memory mode, you'll see that we're now in zone two. Now, I, as far as I can see, to add zones, I had to go into the software. I will add a video of using the software with the Bofeng twin pin cable. Yeah, I will add that video um, so you can you can do that. And just to, just to tell you before I forget, there is USB-C charging. And it's quite a nice big battery on this, and you've got your usual twin pin connector there for speaker headphones and programming PT, nice big ptt there and different functions for these buttons the torch is the bottom one it's it's described there a nice chunky belt clip as well and this is very similar to the uv17 i would say some say they said they prefer the 17 and there's certain functions on there that they like so We've got some symbols here on the dash. One of them is weather. So I, I'm guessing that this does list the weather channels. Menu, so we're talking about banks. If you go into banks, click OK, you'll see that I've added some using my software. So once you've got a few in there, then you can just change banks and it will say the word zones on the screen. So let's say, I know it's called GMI, GMRS, but it probably isn't, that's just for an example. If I select it and click OK and then go back, we're now in zone three, so that's bank three. So the more banks you have, maybe you can rename the, the zones. I haven't tried doing that in the software. That would definitely help, but you can see that in the menu, I have named them, so probably not. So there's a big massive settings menu here, and it's all the basic stuff, frequency step, squelch, and to change, you just select up and down, go back. If we go up to the step, look, select the one you like. Yeah, that's nice, nice and simple. There's a power save thing. Now I notice there is a shortcut for power. If I come out completely, when I was pressing, which one was I pressing and the power was changing? There it is there, the hash is changing the power. Now if I press F, then hash, doesn't do anything. So, But with certain things it does with the frequency scan it did. I'll try hash, hit, hit the cloud. It's not giving me the weather stuff. Let's back out, if I just hold it, there you are, weather, so that's good, nice to see it. Even if we're not using it in the UK, it's nice to have these functions, we'll back out. If you hold down this button, it will lock the, it will lock the radio, and if you hold it again, it will unlock. We've done the hash. Now the rest, I find, they, they are just the, they're not giving me shortcuts. See that? If you could press the F, that's effectively also a function, and then you get 
certain functions work, but overall I didn't find that as a, as a very good one. Menu. I did notice that scan wise, if I held down the, I think it was the hash, it did scan. It's one, I held one down, it started scanning. Now we need to be in VFO, so we go, hold down the green. Frequency mode. Now we'll hold down the hash. I did have this earlier where it just started Again. scanning. There it goes. It's a bit of a delay, isn't it? I suppose I need to turn up the, uh, the the squelch, but did you see it said scan mode? Press it again. Scan off. So it does it does scan. Let's go to it. One, four, five, zero, zero, zero. Let's try again. Scan off. Uh, well, it was actually that actually went from one band to another. So that's interesting. Oh, there it goes. Up arrow, it's scanning up and down. Oh, quite obvious, really. Okay, well, that's good. We found that scan. I, I noticed there was another scan in there as well. But anyway, so that's that. We can just hold that for now. Menu. Let's have a quick look. Programming a channel. Enter. So that's got your normal parameters. And this is an analog device. It's not digital. So go down. RX frequency. I'll just select one. Type in the frequency. Receive. Transmit power. Bandwidth. CTCSS. You really only need it on transmit, really. TX CTCSS. Up and down with the arrow. Select. Click OK. Back out. And you can program channels using the radio, but adding the name of the channel, I found that to be not not very clear menu. So overall, it's a nice radio. You can type in the frequency as you saw me One, do. Four, five. Hold down to go back into channel. You can scroll through channels once you've added them. You saw the zone feature. I don't think I've missed anything. A nice big LED there, which is quite nice when it's uh, TXRX. It, it does go red. I know it's not clear. It sort of comes through the torch. Or maybe I think they're using the same LED to act as a torch and an LED. Volume and on off. A little bit annoying that the squelch, you know, you do have to do the squelch, you have to go menu, radio settings, and then there's your squelch there. Different levels, up and down, then select. Enter. So that's your basics. Now if someone has got a UV, set, I've been looking at UV17s, which I will be testing soon, and these do come with a cradle charger and a USB-C. But if someone, if someone has got uh, if someone knows how to just scroll through the bands, please let me know because I cannot see a method of just scrolling through, but at least we can type the frequency. There is a manual. I've read the manual and the manual is actually quite good. Covers covers, you know, covers several items. So I, I think the manual is quite good. Uh, so, you know, the charger, it's a nice big charger on this. You don't need it because of the USB-C, but it's, a, you know, it, with I find that charging charging stands are just nice just for standing up the radio, aren't they? Although this one, it's quite a big base on this one, so uh, you're not going to have a problem there. And it comes with a belt clip and with a, a carry strap. So, you know, do I recommend it? I think, yeah, if you want a budget radio that uh, will will receive AM... VHF, UHF, and it's got, it looks like it has got 220 megs, uh, airband, marine band wow. one. Let's try that, let's try that. Hold it down. Frequency mode. One, is it 160? Let's just put 160. So it does go in there. I'm not going to even begin to think about transmitting on a band that I shouldn't transmit on. So this is the BF18H. So thanks for watching. If I've missed anything, let me know. Um, it is just a UV5R programming cable. I'll put that in the, that video in and I'm sure there's something that I have missed But overall, it's a nice little radio and if you like color screens dual band and it has got Dual watch, you know, you do have to select that in the, in the settings I can't remember where it was, but I saw it. Look, you've got Vox, Power Time Out Language, Podger Someone asked me, has it got Podger? I don't know what Podger is. There it is, there, dual watch on. 
you, know, you can sit there tinkering with this all day. I know when you first get one of these devices, you want to put it in the bin because it's so frustrating learning. But you will find that it doesn't, that that is with all radios. When you first pick up a radio, it's going to drive you crazy. I don't care if you've got a university degree or, or not, yeah? You are going to want to smash this radio up when you first get it, or any radio. You just got to persevere, and my experience is just keep using it, keep using it. You know, keep tinkering, watch lots of YouTube videos on the same radio. You'll find that if you watch 10 videos, you'll get everything in, that you want from one video, <laughs> which hopefully I've got in here. So thanks for watching my channel, 7-3. Bye for now.